Oh hi everyone. Join the Munchkin on cool adventures and have fun exploring various activities with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For today's episode, you will need vegetable oil, water, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer tablets. And of course, a see-through container to put all of these together. You will add mainly vegetable oil, about 70% full of your container, and the rest will be water. You can add a few drops of your food coloring, whatever you prefer and then start dropping in your Alka-Seltzer tablets and watch the magic. Do you know why this cool effect is created when we drop Alka-Seltzer tablets into the oil and water solution? No? Well, let me tell you. The oil floats on the surface because water is heavier than oil. Who would have guessed, right? It doesn't look like it, I know. Water is actually more dense than the oil, and the Alka-Seltzer tablet reacts with the water to make carbon dioxide gas. And these bubbles attach themselves to the colored water and cause them to float to the surface, creating a lava lamp look. We loved this experiment so much that we made three different ones. A blue, a red, and a purple. Which one is your favorite? Today's episode is called Cloud Dough. Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you um, a fun cloud dough recipe that I found with my mommy. Um, all you need are two ingredients, lotion and cornstarch, and you just mix them together. First you're going to put in your lotion, um, then you can add your food coloring to it, whatever color you'd like, and then cornstarch. With cornstarch, I recommend adding a little bit at a time and seeing how the dough is because if you add too much, it's going to be too flaky and then it won't come together very well. So follow me as I make a couple different colors because I absolutely loved making this fun play-doh and then playing with it. Once you mix all the ingredients together, you're really going to want to work and play with the dough as much as you can for at least five minutes for it to all come together. And that's probably one of the more fun parts besides just playing with it afterwards is getting to knead the dough. And just because this is so much fun, I'm also gonna make a red one.
Did you know that Play-Doh was originally made in the 1930s as a wallpaper cleaner? How weird is that? And then like 20 years later, they decided to make it for kids as Play-Doh. How weird. And why not? Let's do a green one too. And now that we've made a couple different colors of the cloud dough, um, just have fun with it. I know I will. If you want for it to last a little bit longer, I recommend putting it in either an airtight container or wrapping it in saran wrap and putting it in something like a Ziploc bag um, for it to stay moist um, and playable as long as it can. Thanks again for joining me today and I will see everyone soon. Hey everybody, click the subscribe button down here to get updates on our new videos. See you soon. And you and Today's episode of The Little Chef is called Unicorn Cake. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today and following um, myself and Munchkin through Munchkin World. Um, we absolutely love unicorns, this is our best friend. So when we saw on the Discovery family that they were making unicorn cake, we decided to make one too. So please come along with us into the kitchen and follow along as we make a unicorn cake. Hopefully you can make one as well and then we can share and see how they all turned out. So here's the list of all of the ingredients that you're going to need to follow along with our unicorn cake. Um, so let's go. We are ready to go with our apron and our chef's hat. And all of our ingredients are already divided so it's a little bit easier to combine them um, so first what we're going to do is combine all of our dry ingredients together and mix them in pretty well Then in a separate bowl, you're going to mix your buttermilk and oil together and mix them up. Next, in a different bowl, take your egg whites, your vanilla extract, and of course your butter and mix it all very well together. And now we're going to combine all of our ingredients together from all the bowls into one and mix it very thoroughly. Once all the batter is mixed, we're going to divide it into three separate bowls or four or however many colors you want to make um, and divide them evenly. And then go ahead and add your colors, a different color to every bowl. Now that you have your beautiful colors, it's time to mix them all together in our baking pans. Boom. 
with your beautiful batter done, it's time to bake it. While our cakes are chilling in the freezer, let's start making our buttercream frosting, which is the best part. Start off by mixing everything but the butter together. And then we're going to add the butter one stick at a time so that it blends a little bit easier and you'll blend it for quite a while. I actually got tired of waiting and I made my mom do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, I got bored. I'll be honest. Once the frosting is done, go ahead and add whatever colors you want your unicorn to be. Next we make the fondant and that's going to be for the ears and the horn of the unicorn and of course because my favorite color is purple, guess what color it is? Purple! Well my mommy made the fondant for me from scratch but you can just get it at the store as well which is a little bit easier and less messy. And again, my mommy also kind of put all the buttercream, the white buttercream frosting onto the cake to make it easier and more fun for me than to make the mane of the unicorn. So let's follow along and see what it ends up looking like in the end. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Yay, and our cake is done! Isn't it the most beautiful unicorn ever? I think so, because it's purple and I helped make it! Go! Say hi, we make gold boys. No, no, We just made our first unicorn cake and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did! Alright, we will see you next time! No. Bye everyone! Five, two, three, 
station repairs in progress. Thank you. Meteor shower approaching. Uh oh. Today's episode is called Superhero Boot Camp. The big munchkin city is in trouble. The evil giraffe and monkey have taken over. Who will be brave enough to face the evil villains and save the big munchkin city? One little girl has decided to step forward and take on the evil villains. She alone will undergo the superhero boot camp and earn her mask and cape. I am ready for this. Evil villains, you shall never win. <laughs> you shall fail the superhero boot camp. No one has ever cast this course before. Evil monkey and giraffe, you will not win this easily. Your dragon won't scare me. I will complete this course and win. Okay, this is proving to be a challenge, but I will find a way. This crocodile won't scare me either, evil monkey and giraffe. I am up to your tricks. I will conquer these fish and save my friend, evil monkey and giraffe. You will not win this easily. My friend is saved. Woohoo!
I have reached the final task. Now nothing can stop me from earning my superhero cape. Yes, yes, I have freed everyone and finished the course. Woohoo! No! How could this happen? How could we let this happen? No! Evil villains beware. The big Munchkin city is now under the protection of the Milky Way Girl. Hey everybody, click the subscribe button down here to get updates on our new videos. See you soon. You and C H K I N. This is the Munchkin Girl. Yeah, it's the Munchkin Girl. You're watching the Munchkin. In today's episode, we're going to help a friend with a little science experiment. Hi, Munchkin. I have a big dilemma, and I hope you can help me. I have some white flowers, and I want to give them to my best friend. But he doesn't like white flowers, and I don't know how to make them change color. Can you please help? Of course, I am always happy to help a friend. So today I am going to pose a little hypothesis and see if we can help out Cookie Monster and change his white flowers into some pretty colors. So here I have five carnations, white carnations. I also have five glass jars with some water and of course food coloring. I am going to add several drops of food coloring of different colors to all of these jars and then I will place the flowers in them and we will see what happens. Hmm, so it looks like they haven't changed color yet, so let's give it maybe an hour and let's come back and see what it looks like. Oh wow, look! So after an hour, you can start seeing some color. Let's see what happens if we give it some more time. Yay, so it looks like I was right. They do change color with food coloring through while they're drinking water. And it looks like green and blue um, and a little bit of yellow are more prominent colors. Wow, and three days later, the flowers look awesome. Wow, thank you so much for your help. I am so excited to give these flowers to my best friend. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today and helping Cookie Monster with his dilemma. I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone. Mm. Oh.